Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Yes, Pisces, thank you for your patience. This is going to be for November, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher. Just because it's for November doesn't mean that it can't be for next month. Okay, remember, you watch it when it's meant for you to watch. All right, Pisces, Eight of Pentacles. Someone's been working very diligently, working very hard. Someone who has been focused on work and career. They haven't been looking for love. And that's always when it comes. Five of Wands. This is a competitive person, right? So they're competitive. They're a winner. They are um, maybe a go-getter, <laughs> right? This is someone here who likes to win. Oh, I told you it always comes when you're not looking. Bitch, it's like I'm psychic. See that right there? Bitch, it's like I'm psychic. Told you it's when it comes. Because you're doing other things. You're busy doing other shit, and there it comes. <sighs> now, you have justice sitting here, which can be Libra energy. But justice is really just about getting what you deserve. It could be about balance. Some people could be dealing with legal issues. So maybe they've been busy and consumed with that. There's the tower because it's sudden. Tower is out of left field. Unexpected. Period. It's unexpected. Because again, it comes when you're not looking for it. Lightning strikes unexpectedly. You guys saw my video, my collective general reading called The Emperor is Falling Head Over Heels in Love. There he is. Wait, there's more. See how lightning strikes that tower and they fall? Because the emperor is falling in love. Yeah, that's your reading. No, just... <laughs> I mean, really, it is. It's like I told you. It's I knew as soon as I seen that eight of pentacles that they were working hard. And because they're doing that and they're working so diligently, doing their shit, not paying attention, I already knew love was going to come. Because that's the way it works. You know what I mean? Now, that could be Aries, that's a Libra with justice, right? But I wouldn't focus on the, the astrological signs, to be honest with you. I wouldn't. Now, so the emperor is falling. Protection. Yeah, you know, someone's been very safeguarded. Uh, they haven't been very open to commitment, right? So this could be the kind of a person that, like, uh, is not looking for love. Again, it comes when you're not looking. Why do I feel like I've read that for you guys before recently? Comes when you're not looking. Because I think when you guys have been looking, it's been fucking dead ends and heartbreak and disappointments and just, mm. because you can't find it like that. You don't, love, we don't find it, it kind of meets us. We, we, it just finds us. I feel like it finds us. Now you have commitment here. So it tells me that there's commitment on the table. But again, it's someone who wasn't very open. They weren't looking for love. They weren't out there trying to get a relationship. I think for those of you that were, you noticed that that was a horrible time period of your life because you just met shit people or met no one. And it's always right when we're waiting for the pot of water to boil on the stove. It does not boil. But once you walk away, what happens? New discovery. Yeah, a love offer. The new discovery is this feeling. It's like you've never felt before. Not like they felt before. It's new to the both of you. You, This is you guys encountering a soul connection, a soul mate or twin flame, however you want to word that. Where you, it's unexpected. It's an unexpected meeting. Now, the love offer tells me that it's more than just physical attraction. It's more than just something that's minor that will go away. This doesn't go away. Because they fall. And when they fall, they're going to fall hard. Okay, this is, I mean, this is just, um, this is what it is. 
Now, Pisces, you guys know better than anybody about falling hard. You guys know you can't always fucking do that because Pisces can fall quickly and they can fall hard, but they'll fall quickly and hard sometimes in karmic relationships, in codependencies, in red flags. It's like you bitches, favorite color is red, specifically a flag. So you've learned that lesson, haven't you? Yes, yes we have. Spellbound, I tell you just enchanted. My enchanted line, I just put up for pre-orders literally last night. And it's exactly what enchanted means. It means spellbound, it means magical, it means charming. And basically I created the enchanted bracelet, the candle and the magic moon water to help us manifest and attract enchanting moments experiences and encounters this will be that it will be very enchanting it's spellbound i mean when i tell you they're gonna fall fucking hard and you are too it'll be like you're both under a spell and not 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 like a bad spell where you guys are not gonna avoid red flags nope nope because you've learned those lessons because you fucking learned those lessons that's not what this is and if you're still falling for red flags, you got to go stop doing that and reevaluate re your shit. Go reevaluate re uh, your ass, divine feminine, this high no. If you're coming in at a higher vibration, you're clocking it at a higher vibration and frequency, you ain't going to fall for fuck shit. Divine feminine means that she is ascended higher. She loves herself. She's not taking crumbs. She's not avoiding red flags. She's not letting herself just fall immediately and into the idea of something and being romanticized with rose-colored glasses on. She's not allowing herself to do that. But this is a spellbound energy. It's like you're under a spell. Temptation head over heels. I'm telling you. The temptation for me, I'm going to tell you guys right fucking now, it will be the temptation to climb up and run. It will. It'll be the temptation to overthink it. You may be tempted to overanalyze it. Break it down. Right? Break it down so badly that it doesn't exist anymore. You'll be tempted. The sun. It's a yes card. Sun is the happiest card in the whole deck. I mean, it is literally pure bliss. That's what you're going to feel. You're gonna feel yes. You're gonna feel like this is it. This is auspicious. It's successful. It's it's healing. It's it's just all this amazing stuff. I mean, it trumps everything. There's the archer. The archer is about <sighs> eye on the prize. They see it. There it is. Bullseye. They. It's, it's, it, I, it's the feeling I get. And remember now, the sun also means clarity. So it's like before, if they weren't sure, they didn't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There it is. It's so clear as day. There's the target. There's the one. That's them. That's it. That, right there. It's that feeling I get with those two cards. It's just absolute clarity. It's sureness. Third person. Along with the lily. See, you guys learned your fucking lessons. For those of you that dabbled in any kind of third party shit, you know better than that now. It's never going to end well. Oh, I'm going to leave them. Well, but he said he's having problems with his girlfriend. Well, his wife said that they wanted to separate. Well, you see what I'm saying? Well, she told me that her husband is cheating. So she's just going to do the same. Oh my God. Have you not learned your fucking lessons there? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You have absolutely learned your fucking lessons. The tower in reverse. In reverse. Now, in this deck, there's two, there's two different kind of energies, right? And, and this is not the traditional tarot tower. This tower is about being alone. See what that means in reverse? The one who wants to be alone find themselves feeling connection to another person. You have here the full moon card, which says queen. And it's radiant, it's harvest, it's beautiful, it's a priestess, very self-aware. There's the magnets. Yeah, for sure it's magnets. Of course it is. Justice again, Libra. But this is all about just, it's magnetic attraction. It's yin, it's yang. You guys are just both polar opposites, but you are perfectly matched. It's polar opposites. 
but the magnet here tells us there's this extreme magnetic attraction between two people. It's a, it's a, a desire and it's, it, it literally says on the card, charm, which falls under enchanting. It's longing, desire, gravity, magnetic attraction, charm, je ne sais quoi, seduction, and yearning. Now, going back to the word gravity, remember in that tower card how they both fall? You know, John Mayer's song, Gravity, right? Whoa, gravity is taking better men than me. Waterfall, flood of emotions, the coffin. Coffin talks about breakup. Endings. The world here is lessons. See, with that Pisces energy, if you have Pisces in your chart, you guys know all about that flood of emotions. You guys have to really be careful about that, right? There could have been some sort of an ending recently that made someone sad. There could have even been loss. It, be, it could even be death, loss, things of that sort, right? Uh, it could be discouraged. Something ended or, 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 someone, or someone lost someone. So there could have been grief recently. It's possible. The grasshopper, luck, prosperity. We had prosperity earlier on my live on Instagram. If you're watching it, see that? How it's all the same energy. I knew it when I woke, woke up this morning. I felt it. This weekend I felt it. I knew, okay, it's time to do my enchanting line, get the pre-orders ready. This morning I woke up, I felt the enchanting energy, but I also could feel the energy of like auspicious energy coming in. Prosperity, money, luck. So you have prosperity here, and it came up twice today. You have the leap of faith, luck. Some it says birth of a son, so maybe someone has a son. Or you guys have a son together. Magician. I mean, what does a magician do? The, mag the magician manifests. You could have a low vibe magician. Low vibe magician would be um, someone who's deceptive. They're an illusionist. They're not what they seem. I don't feel that here though. Here I feel like it's a it's someone who manifests. They create. You know the card itself says Mercury, messenger of the gods, and then it says all types of communication. I think that this particular emperor has been uh, has thought of all. It's just his head's been going crazy. He's trying to work and he can't even think about work. He can't concentrate. He's trying to think about this, can't concentrate. He's thinking about this connection. That's what it feels like to me. He may have already dreamt of you too. The swans. Yeah, of course he had. I told you it's fucking love. I mean, the swans is such a huge card in this deck because it symbolizes the one. It symbolizes soulmate and twin flame energy, right? And it just symbolizes this whole thing. It's a deep connection. And the birds, communication. Yes. But the birds card also talks about being flighty and nervous. Because I think they might be a little bit nervous, yeah? How do they say it? How do they approach? In fact, in my collective reading that I recorded right before your reading, uh, that was the energy in there too. That they'd be a little bit nervous because they don't know what to say. They, they need, they're very sure they know it, that they got to communicate at the right time, but they just may not know what they want to say because they're trying to sort out what they feel. You know what I mean? Let's get into extended. If you want to rent this below this video, click the word more. It's going to bring up all the info. You're going to click on the first link. It'll go to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. Then you're going to go to the extended readings. Look for November. Now, if you want to pre-order one of my enchanted products to help you manifest and attract in enchanting encounters, then that's also on my website, but that's going to be in the shop tab. Okay, so go and check out my products there. Pre-orders mean you don't get them immediately. Okay, please read the descriptions on each. There's the magic moon water, which is sound charged from the moon. Um, and there's also essential oils in there and it has um, cosmetic grade Nika glitter to so make it look really pretty and shimmery. Um, I have my enchanted candle burning here, but you go to my website, see what it looks like. And then of course the bracelet itself, right? Same thing helps us help us to manifest. All right. See you in the extended. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you. Bye.